hello friends uh, welcome back to the channel and in this uh, video tutorial we're going to look at how can you set up your gns3 virtual machine uh, the reason why we need gns3 virtual machine help you uh, to move easily uh, your gns3 projects so this lab requires you that you have uh, pre-installed the gns3 application so we look here you can see i have installed the gns3 application if you have not installed the GNS3 application, you will just go to the Google and uh, the GNS3 website. Uh, right, uh, type a GNS3 download. So when you tap GNS3 download, I will be uh, sent to the GNS3 website. Uh, from their website here, you will be required to log in. You see me, I have logged in. And from the website, if you are for the Windows, you will be required to download the GNS3 uh, uh, for uh, Windows, also Mac and Linux. For Windows, the latest uh, GNS3 version is 2.2.243. That is the latest version. But for this lab, we are just going to see how you can set up your virtual machine. So also here, see down here, for, uh, for maximum performance, make sure to also download the GNS3 version, GNS3 a virtual machine. GNS3 is a free and open source software under the uh, GPL uh, version 3 licensing. So meaning that for optimum performance, you have to download the GNS3. Just come here, click the download, and you, you download the one for the virtual box because you're going to set uh, the virtual uh, machine on the uh, virtual box so click download you see here uh, the file is downloading it's downloading in a, a winrun form where we are going to extract that file so after the download is complete we are going to extract our file so this is the file that you have downloaded extract the file After we're done with the extraction, we are going to our virtual box, uh, the Oracle virtual box. Open the virtual box. In the virtual box, where we are going to set up our virtual machine. Uh, so come to File, Import Appliances. In the Import Appliances, we are going to uh, Import. Click the folder where we go to the Downloads. The downloads we are in our GNS3 uh, virtual machine. You pick uh, the, the executable file, click next. Yeah, let's change the name. Let's uh, use the name that we can GNS3 virtual machine finish. So you see here, GNS3 is importing. Let's give it time as it imports. Uh, the import is complete. Now let's go to and uh, adjust some of the settings. Come to settings. In the settings, we are going to uh, go to system. Then the in the system, let's adjust the memory uh, to 4096. Then processor, let's give it a processor of 2. Then here, when you check, uh, you see here enable nested virtualization. The nested virtualization is not enabled and the, you can't even check the box. So, and down here, you are being told that invalid setting detected. So, we are going to check the problem. First of all, uh, the, the first one, remote uh, screen page, the virtual machine is configured. So, we are going to check that first. So, come to a display. In the display option, we're going to uh, change it into VGMS then. Come back again, see the, another, the, th the second problem is that remote page display. Remote display is currently enabled on the virtual box. So we just come to display again, the remote display, and uh, disable uh, the enable server. 
then click ok come back to setting again and see if it has gone away you can see here the problem now uh, doesn't exist so with that done we are going to start our uh, GNS3 virtual machine Normally it takes some time, uh, but uh, let's give it time as it runs. Uh, you can see it's ready here, but uh, we are using the virtual we are using is the virtual box. If VM support available, you see here is false. We need to change that one to be true. That is when now the GNS3 virtual machine will be able to link with the a gns3 application where we are going to run our networking labs so with that we are just going to stop uh, this gns3 virtual machine so that we make sure the kvm support is true so after you stop the device now what we do is we come to our cmd so type cmd in your search button cmd you run as an administrator we want to enable nested virtualization so that the KVM support uh, becomes true. So while you're in your CMD, we are going to uh, enter into this directory. So copy, control C, then uh, CD, paste. After you enter into that uh, path, we are going now. Uh, to uh, turn on the nested virtualization so we just uh, type vbox manage modify a uh, virtual machine then th this is the name of the virtual machine uh, that you, you are, you've set in your virtual box so mine is uh, gns3 uh, vm so i'm going to copy all of this uh, text and copy control c then we are going to uh, paste it on the CMD uh, to, an, uh, to turn on the nested virtualization. After that, uh, let's go back to our, our virtual machine now. Come to settings. When you come to settings, system, and come to processor, you see here nested virtualization. You can turn it on and turn it. Uh, you turn it on and turn it uh, off. Then click OK. Then now we are going to turn uh, the virtual machine on and see now if the the KVM uh, support machine has been uh, true. Now uh, you can see here the KVM support available is now true meaning that our nested virtualization has been enabled so with that we're going to minimize and now we are going to start our we're going to start our we are now going to start our gns3 and uh, and establish connection with its virtual machine Uh, this is showing you that the first virtual are uh, you going to say no uh, come here into edit preferences in the preferences we are going to go to uh, go to a virtual machine here you need to select uh, yes virtual box because I had set mine it should be virtual box after that you enable this button when that is done uh, after you enable the, the, the GNS3 virtual machine, then you will come now apply and click OK. You will see here the GNS3 virtual machine is now running because it has turned green and it is now running and also our local machine is also uh, running. So that's 
So that is what we are had to do about all this lab, how you can set up your GNS3 and get your lab working. So when you need to set up your first lab, you just come here. Your project here, you can say lab one. Click OK. Then in your lab one, you can come here, pick your devices. So after that, now let's link uh, let's link our devices. When you link those two devices, uh, now you will be able now to do your uh, practical easily because uh, we've set now the virtual machine and also our uh, CPU is running normally. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let's uh, meet in our next video where now we are going to look at how now can you configure devices after setting up uh, your uh, topology. So thank you.